Hello YouTube, this is ZeroDen, and I'm bringing you some shotgun gameplay. This time I've got the SPOS-12 with a suppressor on Havana. And um, I know I haven't used the SPOS-12 before, uh, SPOS-12, and uh, it, it's an excellent weapon. Uh, the, in case you don't know, the suppressor does not reduce any of the range or damage of this gun there's absolutely no reason to not use the suppressor unless of course you just like the sound which some people do whatever more power to them I prefer the suppressor because I don't want to show up on the map now a lot of people like to play the SPOS 12 silenced as sort of a ninja class Ooh, terrible aim there combined with lag anyways um, a lot of people like to play uh, a ninja class uh, with the SPOS 12 and that's okay, I guess, but uh, it's really not my thing. Uh, I prefer to, pretty much with any shotgun, but especially the SPOS-12, you've got to be up close. It uh, It's not quite like the Olympia and the, uh, oh, what is the other one, the Stakeout, where you can be a fair distance away and get a one-shot kill. The SPOS-12, um, at mid-range, you can still hit someone, but as you can see, you'll need to put uh, multiple rounds down into them before they actually drop. So, uh, part of the problem with um, uh, you just you can't play it like like you can the stakeout. You just you just can't fight people from medium range as well. Now, some would argue that you can because you have more rounds to shoot. And while I feel like that's more or less the case, um, I still feel like it's more important to be closer to the enemy and a lightweight and steady aim combo will let you do that it'll give you the maximum amount of power that you can get while giving you uh, maximum mobility with the most speed so you'll be right up in their faces most of the time and as you can see I still get a good chunk of one hit kills with the exception of this where I try to shoot the guy in the head and get a hit marker which I think is probably just lag as you can probably see um, this match was pretty laggy for me as most matches are anymore, but uh, shotguns can be really nice in combating lag. Uh, the main reason for that is just because uh, of the spread shot. You don't have to necessarily be 100% precise. You can be you can just shoot in their general direction, and oftentimes you'll hit and kill them. It also seems to uh, be a lot more forgiving in terms of the hit markers. It'll actually hit them, and even if you don't kill them right off the bat, it'll severely throw off their aim. Which is always nice. Another uh, little tip I'd like to throw out there is um, if you're playing with a shotgun, any shotgun, it really doesn't matter, uh, pick up someone else's primary. As you can see here, I've got a FAMAS, and uh, that helps in taking these guys out from range because there's no way that I would be able to make it over there in time without them seeing me. I probably would have gotten shot down if I didn't have the assault rifle. So it can be really nice uh, to have a long-range backup weapon it's never a bad idea um, I, I wouldn't really recommend picking up something like a sniper rifle uh, because you'll be you'll just be playing too aggressive for that honestly if it's a sniper rifle just use your pistol and uh, speaking of pistols uh, I've mentioned this before but the ASP is almost undoubtedly the best choice especially if you're using something like the uh, not the stakeout the Olympia uh, because it only has two shells, uh, two shells in it at any given time, and oftentimes you can run out of ammo, so you'll need to fall back on your pistol. And the ASP is my personal favorite. It's uh, if you've got a quick trigger finger, it will be almost the fastest killing uh, pistol that there is. Even the Python, in my opinion, can't beat the ASP simply because, in my opinion, with the ASP, I can shoot it so fast that it's almost like a submachine gun. So at very close range, it's it's really reliable. I, I really recommend you guys check it out if you if you haven't used the ASP. But then again, it's one of those uh, preference things. It's you know use whatever you're most comfortable with. I feel like the ASP is probably the best choice. Um, and I just realized here I'm not even using the ASP. I'm using a uh, ballistic knife for whatever reason. I think I was actually uh, before this match I tried for a. Uh, for a knife only game and this is pretty much the exact same setup I use for a knife only game but alas I didn't go knife only <laughs> and uh... anyways ASP in terms of pistol choice that's that's your next best bet 
if you play on the default button layout, I actually would recommend the um, the ballistic knife. If you run out of out of ammo in your shotgun and you still haven't found another primary for whatever reason, ballistic knives are actually really really good at uh, taking guys down at close range, similar to your shotgun. Uh, and like I said, with the default button layout, that helps a lot. If you play on tactical like myself, not so much. I usually only use the ballistic knife if I'm going for knife-only games, so whatever. Um, something else I want to mention, uh, Marathon Pro. I've been using Marathon Pro a lot more often lately. And check out this little spoon move into the Claymore. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty nice. Anyways, uh, I've been using... Uh, I've been using Marathon Pro more often, especially with shotguns. It is the best perk for shotguns, in my opinion. Uh, probably next to Steady Aim, of course. And uh, I've been kind of getting away from sleight of hand, too, and using a lot more Steady Aim, because I guess I just like the idea of uh, dropping them in one shot, or, you know, one or two with a SPAS 12, which is, you know, nothing. It fires so quick. But... Uh, I really like the idea of having that extra stopping power, that extra accuracy, and uh, what I'm going to try out is using that on the Olympia. I haven't yet. I've only been using the slide hand because I thought that the reload takes so long, but really you can cancel the reload. It doesn't take as long as you might think. It is longer considering it only has two shells, but uh, with steady aim, and I've seen people's gameplay, it's almost always a one-shot kill. And that looks really nice, especially since you almost never encounter uh, more than two enemies at any given time. And usually if you can, there's other ways around it. You've got a pistol, etc., etc. So in terms of uh, the gun itself, the SPAS-12 I think is probably the best shotgun, in, in my opinion. That's, that's my personal opinion. It may not necessarily be my favorite, but it probably is the most effective. A lot of people consider it the easy mode shotgun. But give it a try. Um, it's really nice. I would recommend starting out with the Olympia or the Stakeout, though. That will teach you how to use a shotgun properly. Anyways, 31 and 2, final game. That's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and uh, I appreciate it. Sorry I've been gone so long. Uh, I'll be uploading another shotgun gameplay probably tomorrow or sometime later this week. And uh, that'll be the Olympia on Summit. And I usually don't get too many Summit games, so. I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, just stay tuned, and thank you very much.